Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Minecraft Pixelmon video. We're back on the League of Legends series. I think that this is episode like 11 or something. We like I think we're in double digits already, which is pretty crazy. Normally my series is like, you know, when we get to double digits, it's like, all right, when are we going to wrap it up? But no, I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling determined to catch every single legendary in the entire game, okay? It's going to happen. Now, even though I'm still really determined to catch every single legendary, I honestly don't know how possible it's realistically going to be. Now, I know that we've done a lot of legendary catching already throughout the series. I think we have over 20 Pokemon. If we go into our, let's just do slash PC. Come on, we, we can do that, all right? We're, we're deep enough into the series. We're, 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 we're at the point where we're allowed to be lazy enough to do slash PC. But anyway, let's count up our legendaries. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 legendaries. I thought that we had a little bit more than that, but that is okay because we know how to get another handful of legendaries. So we should be able to get to 30 pretty easily and then after that I think we're gonna run into a couple issues with finding legendaries now before we continue into this video I do want to say that we're still stuck on seven master balls because the way that we get master balls is by every 200 likes that you guys leave in the videos but I haven't really been asking you guys to leave likes anymore I just kind of been hoping that you guys would do it naturally but I'm struggling out here the past like three videos. We haven't hit 200 likes So please leave a like on this video so that we can get more master balls We're probably gonna have to use one for today because you guys already know what we're going to be doing We're gonna be trying to get ourselves a Mewtwo now I'm, not, I'm gonna try my best not to use a master ball on this guy obvious like for every Pokemon that would is most likely going to require a master ball I'm gonna try my best not to master ball it so that I can save them for the future there is definitely no guarantee. I'm gonna do my best, but I'm, I also really, really don't want to kill it. So if it's like towards the end of its life and it's gonna use struggle, I'm definitely just going to master ball it. But hopefully you guys understand and uh, will leave likes for me so that I can get some more of those master balls. Now the way that you actually get Mewtwo is you have to get yourself a cloning machine, but we were lucky enough to get a boss Pokemon to actually drop one. Normally, you would have to. Uh, well, what's up with all these Victinis? Get out of my game. Get out. Just get out of my game, bro. Like, all right. We keep fighting them, but we never actually finish them. This, for all the Victinis around, take notes. Look what's happening. Look what's happening to your comrade right here. Okay? Never, never battle me again. Because this is going to happen to all of you guys. Okay? Boom. There we go. Uh, a flame orb. Okay, I, I don't really want that stuff to be honest, but we're gonna pick it up anyway because it fell over there. But yeah, anyway, anyway, anywho, we actually got lucky enough that a boss Pokemon actually dropped a cloning machine. Why are there so many apples like not stacked? Why why was that a thing? I don't know. But yeah, so we do have a cloning machine, which is really nice. I think that we got this like episode two. I don't know. We got it really early on, which is pretty freaking cool. But the way that you actually have to activate it is you have to either get, I believe three blocks of diamond three blocks of gold or three blocks of emerald i think that those are the three but if we go back and check into our chest i don't know why i left because i knew that i had to do this but if we go back into our chest you will see that we actually have a wait what oh it's over here you'll see that we have a pretty good amount of actually it's in our inventory okay we have a life orb why do we not use a life orb i don't know but yeah we already have a pretty good amount of iron ingots which is pretty neat but the way that we actually got all of those is from taking out Hoopas because they actually drop gold. So what we're gonna do to finish, so I think that we need 20, yeah, we need 27 uh, ingots and we're at 24. So what we're gonna do to get the rest of those ingots is just take out some more Hoopas and uh, wait until we get up to 27. Oh, we still have to catch a Volcanion as well, actually. So we could, we might want to do, actually no, we'll save that for another video. Today is strictly going to be about the Mewtwo. Now, there's not a 100% chance that we're actually going to get it, but the way that you do get it is through the cloning machine. I, I don't think, I think that you get three chances at getting, at, at spawning the Mewtwo. So I don't know if we're actually going to get it. So what's either going to happen is the Mew is either going to clone itself into a Ditto or it'll clone itself into a Mew. And I believe that you get like three chances before the cloning machine actually breaks. I'm not entirely sure how all that stuff works, but I guess that we'll just find out. But anyway, 
I'm pretty sure that Hoopa does spawn at nighttime, so we should be able to find some of those guys right about now. And there we go. Okay, so one Hoopa just spawned in chat, which is uh, pretty cool, but I don't actually see it. Where are you at, though? Where are you at? We've actually haven't really seen any Hoopa unbounds, which would be pretty cool to have. Okay, and here he is right over here. He's so little, it's so hard to find him. But he is pink, so I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. But anyway, let's go ahead. He's only level 50, so it should be pretty easy to take him out. Now, I'm not sure how much gold he will actually drop, because I remember, like, for to get that 24 gold, we took out so many Hoopas that I, I don't know what this is really going to be like. Let's actually switch out here to... Let's go to Jirachi. I don't really know. We don't have the best team in the world right now in, in our party. We probably could have done better. Uh, oh, three gold. That's not bad. That is not bad. And a couple ender pearls. Don't really know what I would need the ender pearls for, but I guess it's pretty cool. We could try to get to the end, the end dimension. That'd be pretty cool. And check this out. So I'm actually using the new updated version of Pixelmon. You guys don't have access to it yet. It should be coming out in the next couple of days. But you'll notice that whenever we get into battles with random Pokemon, such as the Sandshrew, you will see that the gender is actually either pink or blue depending on what it is instead of just being gray that's just the like super super minor update there's actually some really really cool things they actually added all of the megas into the game so mega caesar mega um steelix houndoom all like all the megas are now in the game i believe well not yet when, when the update officially does come out it is not out yet it'll probably come out within the next week or so but yeah so some really really cool updates and some things that were really necessary for me to actually complete this series. So Registeel would actually not spawn naturally. So I actually wouldn't have been able to complete the series at all because Registeel wouldn't have spawned. And the way that you, that you actually get him to spawn now is by like going underground. He spawns underground. I don't I don't really know. You have to be like in, in the hills. You have to be in, 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 in some sort of hills biome and then go underground and then supposedly he spawns. I, I really don't know. But it's pretty cool if that is accurate i don't know if, if my analogy was accurate or not but there's a, a lot of really really cool other things that have been added as well uh that i'll, I, I'll probably make a, an update video on it just because there is a ton that there is to know but anyway there we go we now have 31 golden ingots which will allow us to craft over well yeah it, it'll let us craft three golden blocks which is pretty neat and and we'll have a little bit of gold spare i don't really know what i want to do with that gold i didn't mean to hit that button so you got you got a nice little zoom in on my face i know it's beautiful okay take a screenshot if you'd like save it for later i don't really know what you want to do with it but there you go i got you fam <laughs> anyway let's go back into the blacksmith place and uh get this well get these things crafted okay i don't really know why i decided that the blacksmith's place was going to be the spot where i save all my items and and where i craft things i don't really know but it just kind of turned out that way anyway let's grab that so now we got three golden blocks or blocks of gold whatever you want to call them and uh, let's actually make it daytime because i want this to happen during the day i want us to be able to see everything that is going on and i feel like that we should have some sort of platform to do this on let's let's go and do this in our legendary pen now i did take everything out of the pen because i think i was getting some lag from it i don't really know my frames are pretty low though we're only at 90 which isn't normal for me, at least. But yeah, let's, let's, let's do this bad boy right here. Well, let's, let's break these. We can, we'll do this right, literally right in the middle of the legendary pen. Maybe you'll see like these golden looted colos and he'll be like, oh my gosh, I have to catch right away. <laughs> That's what I would do, at least. If I was a Pokemon and I saw golden looted colos, I'd be like, absolutely, let's freaking go. So I believe what you have to do, oh, we have to insert our Mew. Okay, let's get the Mew out. Hmm. Let's get the Mew out. Let's do this. Okay, what team should we do against this guy? Let's get the Veltal out because it might only know, like, Psychic, which obviously doesn't affect the Veltal. So let's put him in for the Victini. We can put the Xerneas in, I guess, because he has Ingrain, so he'll be able to continuously heal himself. Um, who else would be good against this guy? Probably some people that I'm missing because I'm not very good. Ooh, Darkrai would be good, but he doesn't have any damaging moves. And if you put him to sleep with hypnosis, he has like dream eater or whatever. He's like that, that, that bad dreams. I think his ability is, which actually damages the, the enemy, which isn't really what I want. But 
anyway, let's do we just right click? There we go. So it's scanning. And now we have to insert three blocks of gold, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. We got this. I got a game plan before we go in. So what we're gonna do, what we are going to do is on the very first turn, we're gonna throw a quick ball at it. Just in case. You never know. You never freaking know. There's a time six chance that we'll catch it with a quick ball. So we're gonna go for that, and then we'll switch out to Raikou. Well, okay, we're gonna start out with QM, because I don't think he'll really be able to do much against this dude. So we'll switch out the Raikou, try to get him paralyzed, get him a little bit damaged, get him a little bit weak. And then after, hopefully he is paralyzed, we can switch into Eveltal and then the other two guys to hopefully tank. Anyway, let's do this. One, two. This, guys, might be the biggest episode of the entire series, just so you know. We are getting, or at least we're attempting to get a freaking Mew 2. It's going to be insane. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. It's processing. It is processing. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Is it doing it? Are we getting the Mewtwo or are we getting the Ditto? I don't know, dude. Come on. What is it going to be? It's, it's still processing. <clears throat> okay, so the first Pokemon that we got was indeed a Ditto. Retrieve Pokemon. Oh, it actually spawns. It doesn't just give it to us. Okay. Well, we might as well actually try to catch this dude because it could be pretty cool. It could be pretty cool to have Ditto. So that that's 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 definitely a bummer. Um, I really didn't. Oh, wait. Uh oh. We might have just killed it. All right. So I didn't really see that it transformed into my own QRAM until after I clicked that button. So that happened. But there we go. So we can now, I believe, do this entire process two more times before the actual cloning machine breaks. So what I want to do is go ahead and take out a couple more Hoopas until we get ourselves another three blocks of gold. So bear with me here. We're going to make another cut and see what we can do. All right. So that wasn't too bad. After about 10 to 15 minutes, it actually took, it, yeah, it really didn't take that long to get ourselves another three blocks of gold. And we got QM a couple levels in the process so that is all good it's all gucci main but we're now ready to do the second attempt on the mule i'm actually a little bit bummed out that we didn't get that ditto i like now that i killed it like i kind of really want it i don't know what i really want it for because i can't really do much with it like i can't breed i mean i can breed but what would i breed you know like i, I, don't, I don't really know i don't really know but anyway let's go ahead and do this one Two. Come on. Please give me the Mewtwo. Please, game. Please. It's, I'm not asking for much. If you want to, like, make it shiny as well, like, that would be pretty cool, but... <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Three, and it should be processing. Here we go. Come on, please. Please work, man. Come on, please. I'm begging you. Give me the Mewtwo. Give me the Mewtwo. Come on, please. Please. Don't give me another ditto. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yes, dude! We got the Mewtwo! We got the Mewtwo! We got the Mewtwo! No way! Does I think that it actually breaks. Yes! Look, it broke it! It broke the actual machine! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Okay, let's start off with QRM. Let's not panic. Let's everyone, everyone, let's not panic. It's okay. It's okay. Alright, we're gonna start off. We're gonna stick to what we said. We're gonna start off with a quick ball. It's most likely not gonna catch it, but there is a chance. There is a chance. There is a chance. There is a- Oh! Dude! <laughs> I actually thought that we got it on the first try. That would have been- That would have been unreal. Let's do another quick ball. Because QRAM realistically isn't going to be able to do much against this dude. Like, let's be honest. So he's using Psycho Cut, which is good. That's good because it means- Well, it doesn't necessarily mean- But we haven't seen any fighting type moves. And if he doesn't have any fighting type moves, then we're going to be in really good shape to tank a bunch of hits from um or for the uh the eveltal and the other guys which is good which is good which is gucci man all right let's go to raikou we're gonna just spark hopefully we can get the two paralyzed come on paralyze 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 no dude paralyze paralyze no yes paralyze no yes Paral yes 
Yes, we got him paralyzed. We actually did. Okay, keep on using Miracle Eye, please. Okay, Swift. Fair enough. Fair enough. We can actually go to Mew here, but I don't want to get it confused. I think Mew might only know moves that would confuse it. Let's go to Xerneas. We're going to Ingrain. Okay, and Megahorn and Night Slash are definitely going to kill it, so... Hmm... Mm, indeed. Okay, we'll just Ultra Ball from now because we can't really get it into the red. I don't even know. I don't know if we have any other Pokemon that will be able to damage it without taking it out. Uh, I think Eveltal is Air Slash, but that's a bit risky. That's a bit risky. I'm not sure I want to do an Air Slash against this guy. Um, oh, we, it, oh, I think that we're because we're ingrained. I don't think that we're even allowed to switch out. So there's that. Didn't even realize that was a thing, but okay. Well, I guess it makes sense. Like when you're ingrained into the battle, your roots are in the ground. I don't know why Xerneas learns ingrain. He's not a tree. I don't understand, but whatever. It works for situations like this, so I will take it. I will take it. Look, he's getting his health back. It is a beautiful thing. Come on, Mewtwo. Just catch, man. Listen, it's either you catch. You, you we either make this easy or make it hard, okay? Either way, I'm catching you. I'm either catching you with these Ultra Balls, or I'll catch you with the Mash Ball. If I were you, I would probably wait until the Mash Ball, just because it's way cooler. And you can tell other, like, Pokemon, like, yo, the only way that this dude called me was with a Mash Ball. Like, there's no way I would let him catch me with an Ultra Ball, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I would do the same. It, it's just for bragging rights. So, like, when you're in the PC, there's only, like, you and, like, one or two others that have been called by, or, like, have had the honor to be caught by Master Ball. So, you know, it, it, it would be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool, I admit. But, I want you to catch with an Ultra Ball for me, because it would just, it would just, like, be easier for me in the rest of the series. But I know that you guys are going to leave a ton of likes, so we'll get more Master Balls. Anyway, am I right or am I right? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to go with I'm right. I hope at least. <laughs> All right, come on, dude. Just catch, man. Just catch, dude. Dude, this battle is gonna take so long. It's at, this battle is gonna take forever. It's gonna take forever. But I just gotta be careful. I gotta make sure that he doesn't go through all of his PP because if he does end up struggling, that would be pretty bad. However, one struggle wouldn't kill him here. Like that'll probably take him down into the red. So it wouldn't be the worst thing if he starts to struggle now, but. I'm sure that he has a lot of PP in its other moves. Actually, Psycho Cut, I don't think has that much. So, we'll see. All right, that actually did a lot of damage. And I wouldn't mind if Xerneas died right now. Because I would like to get him a little bit more injured before really trying to... Ooh, that one was close. That one was close, dude. That, I think that one wiggled three times. Wait, can we actually see the Pokeball? No, we can't, like, move. We can't move our guy at all. Or our Aggle, which kind of stinks. It's all good. Oh, we should probably use dust balls. I bet you I already have 10 comments saying, Use dust balls! Use your dust balls! It's nighttime! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Come on, bro. Just catch, dude. I'm, I'm not asking for much. Just stay in the Pokeball for like five seconds. Let it, wait for the ding. When you hear the ding, you know, you know that you're good to go. It's like a microwave. Just stay in the microwave until it dings. Is that a shiny Cobalion? I don't think so. I don't know though. It looks like really like a light color. But I'm not gonna leave this battle in check. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. Ch I don't know, dude. Was that shiny? Or was it not shiny? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not leaving this Mewtwo for it. There's no way I'm leaving my Mewtwo just for a Cobalion. Well, if it's a shiny Cobalt. Wait, yeah, keep coming this way, buddy. Keep coming. Wait, I need a better angle at you. I can't move my camera, so I can't really check. Let's try an Ultra Ball. Maybe that'll work. I don't really know. Uh, but that Cobalt looks like suspiciously bright. If you ask me. Dude, the Xerneas, dude. The ingrain went huge. If he didn't ingrain, he would have been dead like 10 turns ago. But he just keeps on going. See, like the ingrain will kick in, and then... You two will get paralyzed. So then, like, ingrain will work. Like, see, look, look at it go, dude. Look at it go. I mean, it's good, but at the same time, I do want to damage him a little bit more. The chances of me catching him, you two, while he's still in the yellow, is probably not the highest, to say the least. It's probably not the highest. But it's all good. It is all good. And you guys are sticking with me throughout this entire. Look at the Cobalt. He's watching. He's like, ooh, what's going on over here? I don't think he's shiny because you would see, like, little, little, little. Like those little sparks coming off them, you know? 
that you guys are sticking with me throughout this entire capture because this is probably the coolest and best catch that we could possibly get throughout the entire series. So we ain't cutting this out. Usually I would cut out like most of the battle until we either catch him or don't. But no, you're sticking with me throughout the entire thing. Whether that means 30 minutes, whether that means an hour, I don't know. But you guys will be here for the entire thing. But luckily, we did get him paralyzed. If we didn't get him paralyzed, this fight would, might be over by now, honestly. Because he's been paralyzed like 20 times. Like, he hasn't been able to move like 20 times already. Which has allowed Xerneas to use that ingrain and get all of that health back. So... Even though Raikou's gone, he definitely did his job. He definitely did his job. And he got him all the way down that that far already. Like, no other Pokemon did any damage to him. If Kiram was still alive, I'd want to switch to him. So that I could maybe do a little bit of damage with him. But I don't really know. I'd probably just use, like, Slash or something. But see, I don't know how tanky Mewtwo is. So I don't really know what, what to... How to approach the situation. But to be fair, Raikou's sparks weren't really doing too much. So... I don't know, man. I don't know if he is better. Oh. Yes! We got him, dude! Let's go! Without even using a Master Ball. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Let's go! No way! No way! We just got a Mewtwo! We just got a Mewtwo, dude! With an Ultra Ball! So everyone that says use Dust Balls, look at what just happened! Look at that, dude. We caught Evelto with Ultra Ball, Latias Ultra Ball, Mew, Ultra Ball, Mew 2, Ultra Ball. Boom. Where are those dust balls at? Let's go, dude. No way. No way. We just caught the boy. He has a horrible nature, but that is okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He is still the boy. 250 special attack. That's more than any other Pokemon that I have. He is 10 levels higher, but don't we don't like think of it that way, okay? All we gotta think about is that he's probably our best Pokemon in the first in the entire game. I was gonna say in my party, but no, in the entire game, maybe. Debatably. We'll see. We can actually get a mega as well if we get a uh, a mega stone. That would be that would be so freaking cool, dude. No way. We actually got him. I can't believe it. we didn't even use a master ball. Guys. Please smash two over 200. Let's hit 400 likes. Who cares about 200 when you can hit 400 and get two Master Balls? Bro, that would be insane. But guys, we got so much more to look forward to in the upcoming videos. I'm trying to get my hands on a Mega Latios because we have a Latios site. And I want to get my hands on a Dialga and Palkia. So those are going to be really, really big videos coming on in the future. This was probably the biggest one definitely of the series so far. Maybe in the entire series. May I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But today's video was absolutely amazing. Please leave a like rating. Subscribe if you knew all that great stuff. But that is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.